welcome back this is the next topic in the series of the topic we are discussing on rational numbers in the previous topic we have seen the addition operations how do we do the basic addition operation on rational numbers in today's topic we would be learning how to do the multiplication on rational numbers so to start with let's take one example I have here minus 3 by 5 and I want to multiply minus 3 by 5 with 2. So how do I do that? I take up a number line and see what will happen on this number line. In the middle I have a 0, 1 by 5 should be negative minus 2 by 5 because I'm going in the negative direction or the left hand side of the 0 minus 4 by 5 it's to it back minus 4 by 5 and minus 5 by 5 and this is minus 6 by 5 here 1 by 5, 2 by 5, 3 by 5, 4 by 5, 5 by 5 which is 1 and 6 by 5. Now what the question is I have to jump 2 times minus 3 by 5. So let's start from here. Let's 0. So this is 1, 2 and 3. The first jump of minus 3 by 5. One more jump of minus 3 by 5 because I am multiplying it by 2. So this is 1, 2 and 3. So where I arrive here is minus 6 by 5. I am repeating again. When I have to multiply, what exactly this means is you can elaborate it as minus 3 by 5 minus plus minus 3 by 5 it's like 2 times I'm adding the same numbers so I have to jump minus 3 by 5 2 times so I'm jumping here one time which is shown in the yellow and the second time which is shown in the orange to arrive at position minus 6 by 5 now let's see how we used to do in the fraction and see if we arrive at the same number. In the fraction, when we have to multiply an integer with a fraction, we used to just take the denominator as it is and multiply the numerator with the integer. This gives me minus 6 by 5. So yes, I'm actually arriving, arriving at the same answer for the rational numbers also. So I can extend the rule for the rational number also that if I have to multiply an integer to the rational number, all I have to do is multiply by that integer and I'll get the answer. Now let's look at the second example which is also the same number minus 3 by 5 but instead of add, instead of multiplying it with a positive integer I'm multiplying it with a negative integer that is a negative 2. In such a scenario how do we do it on a number line? In the number line what I have to do is I have to move minus 3 by 5 times two times but it is negative 2. In such a scenario when it was a positive 2 I used to move into the same direction which was my number so which was minus 3 by 5 and I used to move in the negative direction. Now in this when I have to move by negative 2 or I have to multiply it by negative 2 what I have to do is I have to move into the opposite direction. I hope I am clear. What I am trying to say here is I have a negative number minus 3 by 5. If I have to jump two times the same number then I will jump in the same direction that is a negative direction which is the direction of minus 3 by 5. But as I have to jump minus two times it becomes again a reverse and I have to travel in the positive direction which by traveling here gives me 1. 2, 3, this is one time, 
minus 3 by 5 into minus 1 that is minus uh, reverse direction 1 2 and 3 this is minus 3 by 5 2 times in the reverse direction the reverse is because of the minus 2 and the answer I get here is 6 by 5 now let's see if I get the same answer by the rule of fractions where the denominator remains same and we just have to multiply the numerator and yes the answer is same it is minus 3 into minus 2 it's 6 by 5 so just to revise the rules of science what we used to do for the multiplication in the fraction in what we used to have a for the integer it is minus into minus will give me positive sign minus into a positive integer would give me a negative integer a negative into oh sorry a positive into a negative would give me again a negative integer and a positive into a positive integer would give me a positive integer the same rule here applies for the rational number also if I have a negative into negative in negative rational number multiplying by a negative integer or a negative rational number I get a positive rational number if I multiply negative rational number with a positive integer which we have done here I still get a negative rational number if I multiply a positive into a negative rational number it again gives me a negative rational number and positive rational number into positive rational number or positive integer would give me again a positive rational number now to explain the next thing here we just talked about integers a rational number being multiplied with an integer not with a rational number how do we multiply a rational number with a rational number let's take one example <coughs> sorry for the same I have here a rational number minus 3 by 8 and I have to multiply here it with 5 by 7 now how do I do that let's try and see if, if I have a minus 3 by 8 and if I have to multiply it by 5 what would be the answer you would say it is simple I apply the previous rule the 8 remain here as it is and I multiply here the numerator which is minus 3 into 5 and this gives me minus 15 by 8 now can I say that minus 3 by 8 into 5 is not only 5 but it is 5 by 1 yes because an integer I can represent it as a rational number by 5 by 1 in a rational number form and here I can say that it, this is minus 3 into 5 and this is 8 into 1 which gives me here 15 by 8 so what is happening here is the numerators are getting multiplied and the denominator is also getting multiplied the same rule can be extended to the rational numbers where the denominator is not one but a different number so here <coughs> excuse me minus 3 by 8 if I have to multiply by 5 by 7 what I really get here is minus 3 into 5 I'm multiplying the numerators and 8 into 7 I'm multiplying the denominator and the resultant is the multiplication resultant of the numerator the multiplication resultant of the denominator the same thing applies if I multiply the two negative rational numbers let's say I have a two negative rational number minus 4 by 10 which is to be multiplied by 2 by 3 minus 2 by 3 in such a scenario again the rule remains same what we have to do here is we have to multiply the numerators so I have here minus 4 which is being multiplied with minus 2 and in the denominator I have 10 which is being multiplied by 3 so the answer here is minus 4 into minus 2 the signs negative into negative will become a positive 
and 4 2s are 8, 10 3s are 30. So the answer here is 8 by 30. Now 8 by 30 I can reduce into a reduced, I can put it into a standard form or the reduced form by saying it's 2 4s are 8 and 2 15s are 30. So the answer here will be 4 by 15. So this explain how do we multiply the rational numbers. The next one comes here is the multiplicative inverse. What is the multiplicative inverse? Let's say I have here 2 by 3. And I have to multiply here by 3 by 2. What would be the answer? Let's say it's quite simple that I have to multiply 2 into 3. And here 3 into 2 which gives me here 6 by 6 which is 1. As we have already learned this with the fractions, when we arrive at 1, a multiplicative inverse, we say that 2 by 3 and 3 by 2 are the multiplicative inverse. The same is true for the rational numbers also. If I have minus 2 by 3 and here minus 3 by 2, I say that they two are the multiplicative inverse because it gives me the identity 1. So that's all for the today's video on multiplication.